Okay, here's the second floor, same deal. The only step you missed up there, because my camera ran out of juice, is to plunge the toilet. And the idea of that is to get enough water out as you can. Otherwise, you're just diluting the antifreeze. You want it to be straight antifreeze, and if it goes down to zero, it'll turn to like a slushy. It won't freeze. So much less water's in there now, and that's what you want. And again, with the antifreeze, I'll take a picture of it for you. They call it Arctic Marine. RV Marine. This is what they put in people putting their RVs. And flush the handle, make sure all, enough water's out as possible. And you're gonna pour the antifreeze in there. And you'll pour probably the rest in here. Save some for the shower because the shower has a trap. Again, don't worry about the pink color, it usually won't stain fixtures or anything important to sink. That's basically at it. And yes, you could do this yourself, you don't need me. Again, we're doing the extra step this year because. That furnace gave me a scare, and uh, you know how Murphy's Law works. Just for our luck, I can't get here. I'm not here. You're not here. And for the cost of the antifreeze, is sure cheaper than cutting open ceilings and trying to replace broken pipes. And if you don't know how cold it's going to get in the winter, ice is an amazing thing. It'll just keep going and keep breaking. All right, see you on the next one.